my name is Mr. Drapi and today I am going to show you uh, how to make creamy coconut pie. So all ingredients you need are, come on guys. So all ingredients you need are, here I have one teaspoon a little bit or a little bit more of uh, maida, that's all purpose flour. Somewhere around 3 to 4 elaichis, you can go ahead, elaichi is the cardamom, cardamom powder. You can go ahead and use more if you would like to have more flavor. Or even, even you can add a bit of vanilla essence also. Then here I have uh, 1 to 2 tablespoons of thick coconut milk. If you don't have a thick coconut milk, you can just use coconut powder, add a little bit of warm water and make it in this consistency. Then here I have already made tart shells. You can go ahead and log on to my videos to see how to make tart shells. So I took the batter, put it into the containers or the... Uh, tins and I have made the bake this for only five minutes. They are half done, not completely done tart shells. So as I told you, if you want to know how to make tart shells, you can log on to my videos to see how to make tart shells. Then here I have three fourth cup of granulated sugar, then one cup of uh, grated fresh coconut, hundred ml of milk, two eggs. You can even use one egg, one yolk also, or you can go ahead and use even two eggs also. Not going to make a great difference. Here I have melted 2 tablespoons of butter. This is 2 tablespoons of butter. Now we will start with the preparations. Take butter. Once you take butter, melted butter, that's 2 tablespoons. I will be adding 2 eggs. So guys, uh, after adding the butter, uh, we have added the 2 eggs. Whisk it well and then we will be adding... 3 fourth of sugar and now we will be whisking it well so that both get blended easily and becomes creamy so guys uh, once you mix the sugar and the egg nicely we will be adding the thick coconut milk as I told you, it's approximately 1 tablespoon to 2 tablespoon of thick coconut milk. If you don't have coconut milk at home, then you can use coconut powder, mix little of hot water and make it in this consistency where you will get thick, nice coconut milk. Mix it well. Then I will be adding the elaichi powder. You can add even vanilla essence. Now we will be gradually adding maida. Don't be in a Hurry to add the whole of maida as it will create lumps into your mixture. So guys, now we will be adding milk into it. That's 100 ml of thick milk. Mix it well. Once you mix it nicely, we will... First we added the coconut milk, now I added the cow's milk. You can go ahead and add even goat's milk as very rich and good. Now I will be adding the grated coconut, freshly grated coconut. Guys, see if you find the consistency too thin, you can add a little bit of maida into it. So guys, once you add the grated coconut and mix all the ingredients well, now with the help of a spoon, we'll be slightly adding this liquid into all the shells. This way. Don't overload them as they might just uh, splutter or uh, they just pour out. If you find the consistency too thin or uh, liquidy, diluted, you can go ahead and add a little bit of maida. Don't be an intention of adding a large amount of maida as uh, it might just, uh, um, what do you say, it might make it too thick, it won't be creamy, won't taste good. So I prefer you adding a little bit of maida. So guys, once the dark shells have been filled, as the dark shells are already slightly raw, I have cooked them only for 5 minutes. So guys, I'll keep this in the microwave and on 180 degree, this is, I'll be keeping it on the oven uh, convection mode for 180 degree as you can see here. First, I will keep it for 30 seconds, 30 minutes and see if they are done. 
If they are not done, I'll be increasing the volume as uh, it differs from oven to oven. So to be on the safety, uh, safety side, I'll be keeping it for 30 minutes on 180 degree and then I'll press the start button. As I told you, after 30 minutes, uh, I'll be removing the container. See guys, they have been done yummy, yummy, yummy. So guys, always remember the tarts, shells has not, should not be prepared uh, completely. It should just be prepared for 5 minutes as I told you earlier also because the more it will get cooked while the tart filling is getting prepared. So guys, uh, always when you keep the tart shells, when you fill up the tart shells, see that you just cook them for 5 to uh, 10 minutes, mostly 5 minutes as they have got cooked while uh, the filling is getting prepared. Guys, now we are done with the yummy, yummy, creamy coconut tarts, guys. So please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.